Hey, it's Jody. We're backstage at Rock on the Range with Sinister Gates of Avenged Sevenfold. Thank you so much. One of my, my favorite pleasure. bands Aww, ever. Thank you, thank you. Love, love, love you guys. Thank you. No BS. Um, so last time we spoke, I don't know if you recall, but you had just become a new uh, a newborn. You had yeah. just become a father. <laughs> yeah. And it was your first show back. You were on that yeah. run with Metallica, and you were telling me that you were having a hard time leaving your newborn. Yeah. And you got emotional. Has it gotten any better? No, it never gets, it actually gets worse because they start developing personalities and it's a little tough. But, um, you know, they get to come out all the time and it's, we're very fortunate that all the families are with us pretty much 75 to 90% of the time. Oh, that's awesome. That's good, yeah. Do you guys do like plane or bus? What do you do? Um, How do you get around? Well, both. Like this, this summer will be probably uh, in a plane, which is kind of cool. You get there faster and yeah, uh, nice. yeah take it slow. I like it. <laughs> How is the Sinister Gates School of Music, your, your school, yeah. doing? It's uh, it's going great for me. I mean, I, uh, I get to learn from all these brilliant kids. It's very community-based. We got tons of kids learning from each other, participating, helping, sharing their uh, their greatest secrets, and uh, it's been pretty pretty unbelievable. How like hands-on or how active are you with that? The last week I've been kind of shitty, <laughs> but I, <laughs> I try to answer as many questions as I can. I, I've developed a really amazing rapport and some good relationships with a lot of these kids that are helping other kids like that's if you go in there and you're helping and kids kids are learning from you I'm I'm your guy I'll be right there I'm full 100% support I'm there my dad's there all the time so yeah and it's not just the kids I was gonna take the how to hold a guitar lesson <laughs> right, I, was like, yeah. right, this, I could actually start here this yeah, might yeah. work for well me. you're a kid you're a kid so At heart, for all of us kids you're that's too right. kind you're mm -hmm. too kind um I heard recently from a radio type that you guys are pretty far along on the follow-up to the stage. Is there <laughs> any truth to that? Who the f said that? Uh, it's just a, no, it's a no. rumor out there. No, we are, we're always working, but we don't quite know what we're working on. Actually, we know exactly what we're working on right now, but I can't say anything. Ah. <laughs> but so that's not it. Oh, it's a different project. A different uh, secret project. Oh, a project, such a such a definitive word, conclusive word. I I don't know, we're just It's around. a little ditty? <laughs> it's a ditty. <laughs> is, yeah. that, is that better or, for you? Or it's a something. I don't know if it's a song. I don't know what, what it is. But yeah, we're working. We're always working. We enjoy it. Okay. It's, it's exciting to throw shit at kids, and uh, or at least at a wall, and see what sticks and uh, what doesn't. It's a learning process, but it's a really fun time to be created with music and uh, involved in the music industry. Do you think there's a single left on the stage? You think there's um, anything left on that? I don't think there's a single song left on the stage. <laughs> no. um, I, I don't know. You know, we're just very fortunate that we have friends in the industry that will let us come and ruin the end of their f***ing big festivals. And uh, we're thankful for that. It uh, elongates the cycle, gives us some time to breathe and be with kids and see um, familiar faces in the crowd and, and really hang and do fun stuff yeah. um, instead of just always being cramped up, cooked up in a studio. So this summer you guys are going on the end of the world tour with Prophets of Rage. Right. So my question to you is, if you knew that the end of the world was coming 24 hours, but here's here's the kicker. You just found out now. Like you you're not you don't get to go home well you may. I don't know. Yeah. You have 24 hours. What do you do? 24 hours. Um, you run out of this start, interview for starters. Uh, that, I was well, like, hopefully uh, we just get a big bottle of something awesome and uh, what are you going to do in 24 hours but just get insanely drunk? That's it? I don't know what else to do. Can't fly home in that amount of time. Yeah, I could. No, you can't fly home, can you? I don't know because then you have the whole situation of getting a plane. People are going to be aggressive because everybody's right, going to have right. the same idea. That's why I wanted to see like what yeah, goes on in there. Yeah, I would probably tuck tail real fast, try and FaceTime. Uh, hopefully my wife would open up a bottle and uh, through the worldwide internet web, we'd uh, just get drunk. I like it. Let's end on that note. I don't know it's, what else to do. That'll probably be how the night ends anyway, so let's yeah. do that. Thank yeah. you so much for your time. Thank man. you for really your time. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.